Hello, Miss. Hello, Hello. Miss. Hello, hello, hello. Social studies. Social studies, people. Social studies. Okay. Hi, Miss. How are you? Good, Lauren. Good. Happy to see you. So, people, here we go. Well, today in social study, we are going to be learning about how United States grows. As you remember, the, the last week we were learning about the early Americans and how the scientists think and how to study that maybe uh, all the Latin America, they came from, from uh, they, they, they crossed the ocean from Siberia to Alaska and they start going down all the United States. Then we learn about the Spanish explorer, the, um, they were looking for gold in the United States, but the only state that they could reach was Florida. And what is the other one? New York, no, uh, uh, New Mexico. New Mexico, right, New Mexico. So, well, well what is the need of the three explorers? Hmm. Andrea? Uh, Juan Ponce León, Hernando de Soto, Francisco Vázquez de Coronado. Exactly. These three uh, explorers, they were very, uh, they were the first one from Spain, the Spain that they came to the United States. But not only, remember that, not only Spain go to the United States to try to find gold, they also were friends okay there were some french french explorer especially in the state of louisiana uh, also um german i think but then we're gonna learn about that but today we're gonna start with united states growth okay so i'm gonna share the screen you see that yep nope no. No. Yeah. no. Oh yeah. No, no. All right. No, no, no. Okay. What was that? <laughs> okay. This is the the copy. Copy, please. Ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. So here we go. Uh, well, as you know, the United States growth by the early 1700s, okay, the Atlantic coast had, um, they had uh, many settlers and people travel west were looking for gold land. Remember, all of them were looking for gold, okay? By a 1783, in the United States, claim land from the Atlantic coast to Mississippi River. So if you see, this one was the fur part of the United States. At the beginning, this is what the first land, okay? If you can see in here, we have in here Florida, the the Spanish country here, and then New Mexico is around here, okay? 
So, but all this land that you can see over there, it was the land that the, um, the United States claimed this land, no United States, England, because the, the explorers that claim all this land, they come from England, they came from England, okay? The queen and the king from England, they send those people uh, to looking for gold land, right? Remember, only what is in the, um, I'm gonna say this, rectangle blue, you're gonna write, okay? The only two lines, I'm going to give you one more minute. Very good, Litsy. Okay, Abigail. And Sebastian, Joseph, very good. Okay, Elena, okay, Diego. Very good, Linley. Bruce. Okay. Lauren, very good. Finish, Daniel. Okay, remember, you don't forget to write finish on the screen because sometimes they're on the chat. Darwin, Adrián, Camila, Lía, okay. Dariel, so here we go. Wow, okay. Then in 18, uh, in, in 1803, uh, that French soul, the land that was then called Louisiana Territory to the United States. This include much of the land west of the Mississippi River to Rocky Mountains. I'm gonna explain to you. All these that you can see here in pink, it belongs to United States. This was the first time, the first land that they used to have. Okay, then we have different territories. We have Indiana Territory and we have Louisiana Persuage. This one was organized. Then we had uh, this one uh, doesn't have someone in the Mississippi too. And that things that you look like in, look like fuchsia. This land was disputed. What do you mean that? This disputed between the Indiana uh, Territory and the Ropers land from the UK. They were fighting for this territory. And this one that is the Viceroyal Royal to New Spain. So it means all this land that you can see in here, California, um, New Mexico, Arizona, part of Texas, all these, they belong to, to Spain, okay? So, uh, you know, Alaska, it was Russian America territory. They say that that belonged to Russia. They were, these, those, those, those that are in gray, belong to other countries, okay? So if you see Florida, West Florida, they belong to Spain. And this, this include much of the, the, the different kind of lands. At the beginning, 
If you see United States was part only this, that is in pink. If this territory from the new Spain wasn't full or clean of purchase from England or from the United States citizen, maybe all this land will, will be part of Mexico. All this land that you can see in here. Okay, and maybe Alaska wasn't part of, of United States, it will belong to Russia. Okay. And that's why, guys, that in all those like California, because of me immigration, right? Also because of migration, but those lands, Texas, um, New Mexico, Arizona. Uh, California, a lot of them, they speak a lot of Spanish or they are a lot of Latin and Hispanic people because this land used to belong to New Spain, okay? Did you finish? No? Yes. Show me your notebook, Liam, did you finish? Okay, Liam. Okay. Very good, Andrea and Lauren. I finish. Microphone. They yeah, finished. You need to say it in the chat. Please, my good to wash my hands because yep. I. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Who else finished? Elena? Okay, Andrea, Adrián. Joseph, Ariel, Miguel, Dana. Jose. Okay, I go to the next. Yes. Okay. Wow. No, me. You haven't finished, Darwin? Hurry up. Okay, so as you can see, well, United States is one of the biggest, is the number four, I think that, I don't know, country number four, that is of the, from the 10 biggest countries, I think it's number four or number five. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But um, United States was divided in different kind of territories. Uh, in here, in the one that they say Louisiana, if you remember, this one uh, is the one that I was telling they was disputed between United States and the West Florida. But this one was disputed because French reach in these. Louisiana is this part in here now in United States. And then it goes Alabama and I don't remember the other one. But in here, they, they used to land in, in the French uh, claim this land of the Louisiana and they say that this belong to them. And remember that in those lands, remember that Rocky Mountains are over here. And in here we have the river, Mississippi River. 
that it goes across 10 states. It's finished. Okay. So, what? And in here, they mentioned that President Thomas Jefferson sent Meriwether Lewis and William Clark on an expedition to discover what was on the land that had been purchased. In 1804, Lewis and Clark began their trip on the Missouri River at St. Louis, okay, in St. Louis. They, this is the river, the Missouri River. Remember that this Missouri River, it is connected to the Mississippi River that is all this way down, you see? And in finishing here. If you can see here in this um, map, all this land, all this in here, it, wa it will be part of Mexico if they haven't followed this, like Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California and all that. And this one were the only ones that belong to United States. So imagine the United States will be just this little bit in here, just this. But do you remember I told you Louisiana was here? Well, this was the part that the French claim as their land. So Florida and and all this land in here, they were part of, of New Spain. And Mexico also was part of New Spain too. But in this case, these two people, William Clark and Meriwether Lewis, they were making, uh, they were in a, an expedition to discover what was on this land. Remember that all this land that is in here, this one, uh, they didn't know what was there. Okay, so they were ex exploring this place and they discover uh, maybe a lot of things over there. Let me know when you finish. Okay, did see? Very good. Very good, Lauren. Okay, Elena. You are very fast girls. Most of the time, Litsy, Laura, and Elena are the ones that, the most of the time you finish first. Okay, mean me, Andrea too. Okay, Danielle, very good. Ready? Okay, Joseph. Dana finished? Don't forget to text me that you finished. Okay, Diego. Okay, Dana. Darwin, Jose. Ariel, Camila, okay, Abigail. 
Adrián. Cruz. Okay. So here we go. Well, in here, 18 months later, do you remember that these are the lands? Remember, this was United States. Okay. And this is, you see, they say Mexico session, Oregon country. They, uh, okay, I'm going to explain you a little bit about this. 18 months later, they reached the Pacific Ocean. They made maps and kept journals about what they saw. Remember, Clark and Lewis. Meredith were Lewis and Clark and Williams Clark. They made maps and kept journals about the, what they saw over there. Between 1803 and 1853, the United States continued to expand, okay? I'm going to tell you why. Remember that these were the original 13 colonies. All these that you can see in here. Okay, so do you know how is the United States flags? The flag? Yeah. What do you have the, the United States flag? She has um, two stars. Why? Blue and red. red. Uh, uh, they have sun stripes, red and, and white, and they have a stars, right? What? Wow. Means it has red, blue, and and white. Why? And has some yeah, she, stars. she has a lines red, and she has a skirt that are black, and okay. the lines are red. And she has yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Well, if we, when we see again the United States flags, these the 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 the, the lines or the stripes that you can see in color red and white, they are representing the thirteen first colonies that United States begin. You see, if we count one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and in here I forgot one. Thirteen. They were those were the thirteen. One of the first United States flags. They only have the 13 lines and sun and stars too, okay? But this one were the first 13 colony that they uh, claim and they live there. Remember that they, after that, they have, uh, they have been claiming some of the territory. In here from Great Britain by Treaty of Paris, they start gaining more territory. Remember that Louisiana, they bow all these that you can see in color brown to France because France claim uh, this land of Louisiana uh, first, and then they they purchase or they they say they sold this land to United States. Okay, then we have Texas annexion. That it means that in 18, in 1845, they annex Texas. But you know, Texas, people that live in Texas, they want it to be an independent republic, like be a country. Okay, they, they don't want to belong to the United States. They want it to be a country, okay? Then we have, if you see, all this one that is like red or orange, these used to belong to New Spain, okay? But first, Mexico buy these that they were the gods then purchased. They, they bought from Mexico. It means that they bought these. But all these that in here, like California, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, I forgot the name of this, Nevada. Those states used to belong 
uh, this was a Mexican session they're from Mexico and they they bought this they they even have like a five they fold like a mini word uh, like about this territory because if they haven't uh, claimed this land all this land will belong to Mexico okay and then we had another that is Oregon that is in the West in United States that in the 1846, they want to be also a country. They didn't want, they, they don't want to be part of United States, okay? Like Texas and Oregon, they want to be an independent country. But at the end, so, you know, there were like civil wars, there were a lot of things that happened in United States. And that's why now, uh, then when they claim you know, they have all this territory, uh, now the flag is, they have 13 lines that they are red and white, and they have 50, uh, 50 star, 50, 50, 50 star because of the 50 states that it has, okay? So, Andrea, you have a question? No? Okay. So over there, remember, United States don't just start here. It was just here. This was United States at the beginning, only this. But they start growing and growing and growing and they became just this land. But after that, they both all this land to France that it was the Louisiana Persage. Then they got uh, Texas, and then they got Me the Mexican Session, then they got Oregon and Florida and all that. And that's why they have 50 states, okay? They make a lot of things to have all in claim this land. Okay, so how did the United States grow through Treaties, purchases, and wars. I mentioned that in the previous map. The treaties that they had with uh, Great Britain, uh, with Guadalupe Hidalgo, the purchase that they made to France, okay? Uh, and the wars that they had with, with the Mexican side uh, to claim this, these, okay? Remember that in 18, 1819, the United States purchased Florida from Spain. Remember, Florida was claimed by Spain. Remember that we had over there uh, in Ponce de Leon and the other one was Vasquez, right? Or no, it wasn't Vasquez. It was, what is the second name of this water? Why is that good? Florida. From Spain, okay, from Francisco, right? No, it was Hernando Soto or Francisco. I don't remember, guy. Can you? No, know? Hernando Soto. Ah, Hernando. It Soto. was Florida, South Tampa Bay. Exactly, I forgot it. Thank you. Okay, and remember, the Texas was added to United States in eighteen forty-five. And the next year, England seated or and gave up the Oregon Territory. Okay, so they say like, okay, you know what? We don't want this. Take it. It's yours. I don't want to fight with you because in United States there were a lot of wars. Okay, because of that land. And remember that they start having problems first with the early Americans, that they are the real, real American because they are the Native American that they were, they called the Indians, okay, or Native American. So you only need to copy this, okay? They were, the, if, what if I ask you like, how did United States grow? You're gonna tell me, well, the United States grow through treaties, purchases and words. Okay, and okay, guys. Well, today the class is very extensive. 
Okay. And in here, as you can see, as a result, the Mexican War in 1849 in the United States purchased a huge area of land from Mexico. Then in 1853, with the purchases of more land, the, uh, the area that will become 48 of the 50 states in the United States was complete. At the beginning, they only had 48 states, but at the end, they finally had the 50 state. So in 1853, they has come, the United States was complete. They have all this land for them, okay? Miss? Yep. Uh, what part copy? The, the sentence or the, the map? No, baby, the, the sentence. Uh, okay, Miss. Don't worry, don't worry. If you don't finish, don't worry because I'm going to load the, the PowerPoint in the platform, okay? Two square in as result and all that the sentence. So they see that is copied as then. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you who did that. In the next um, class, we're going to watch a video and I'm going to ask you questions about this. So you must study every day what we learn, okay? Means the I'm next to... class, the, the next class that we have, with you are reading. I mean the next class louder in another day. Oh. Ah. I confuse me. <laughs> you thought that we would have social studies again. <laughs> no, I think that in reading we are going to see a video. No, baby. No. Okay. No. So let me know when you finish. Oh my god. My 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 nose. What happened? Yeah, and how do you say it has free I think? No. Uh, <laughs> if I got flu, no, no, no. I is sometimes I am kind of allergic to because I was cleaning something because of the dust and and when I when I am like I feel like that but I don't have like makus or something like that it's just like I want to sneeze all the time. Means refriado refriado in English is refrier No. <laughs> So how do you say referee? I don't know. The what? <laughs> so how do you say referee? I don't know. Referee. Uh, no, res no, resfriado. We don't say like that in 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 English. English. No. Okay. When you have like gripe, we say flu. When you have resfriado, we say cold. Okay. <laughs> we know. Uh, Miss, we I want to draw something, right? And that's why I write the symbol that say copy. 
No. I want to throw something in the music, right? And I write the symbol that says coffee. Oh my God. Okay, so um, finish? Wait. Miss, miss, I want to uh, throw something. Wait a little bit. Okay, okay. Yes, people, I finished. People that are ready, finish your dismiss, okay? Bye. Bye, me. Oh, bye. Bye, me. See you. In reading. In reading. <laughs> reading class. Bye, me. Bye, me. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Someone's eating. Bye, no uh -huh. cares. <laughs> Bye, Miss. Bye, Hanson. Mm -hmm. Someone is eating. <laughs>